Hello, I'm Marcello Rolando, the Reasonable Voice, thanking you for joining us and becoming one of the Reasonable Voices heard round the world. Shameful Survival Strategy Short-sightedness surging self-destruction Severe self-serving sins projected on citizenry seeking missing refugees who sought only solace by soliciting to slip away from state-sponsored slaughter sharply switched into shipped, scared, skirmishing siblings screaming for snuggles, separated by ice-shielded sentinels strayed from sanity. Stranding suckling squirts, supplicating for succor, succumbing to superficial slumber in strangling state system. Suspended by salacious supporters of segregation, seeing no Samaritan socialism in sight, souls settle for a smidgen of scraps, while succeeding selfishness spews from shameless speakers successful at soliciting the unschooled to serve society scoundrels in a scheme to shift from serene speech to scatological simplicity of supererogation. Sadly, sucker-punching subline storytelling Sears is striking out on scoring scoop, middle finger salutes, single strings to sperilous schooling, not superiority. Still sustaining shallow, scandalous sessions with Jeff Sessions stoking and stroking shared sanctuary of sweeping squires with sinister secrets, Eden's serpent savors survival, slandering supreme settled law. Slim is the service of self-serving special interests, shunning soul-searching, surrendering us to swamps, speeding slavery to substandard selections, smearing our presidential seal with stupidity. Scurrying for support, surrogates set up stories, sacrificing sanity's savvy on a scorned spacious speedway surfaced by sneak-stealing solutions for our studiously salvaging solidarity from synthesis of silly stand-ins. Spotting our susceptibility to self-centered simpletons, like hacking serpents and the political snakes, Let's swiftly shake off sharing super lies, swindling seniors, and swinging sincere sophomores into suicidal strife. Straight away, sternly sling suspicious scrutinizing of society this season, and sympathetically seize non-voters with the sufficiency to show up, to speak out against slippery slope of separateness. For sharpened sticks are not soldiers at arms, but savage stucco stupor. Salient sauce for sham shepherds. In this short line stage of spineless substitutes spontaneously submissive to staunchly slipshod behavior, shoddy information, spat from supporting roles serving shifty swain as suddenly steeled supers speechifying for subversive skippers. Serious singular stomping grounds spare scholarships sloppy seconds in the name of we the people. 1. After FDR's 12 April 1945 death, America's wealthiest military-industrial complex warfare class implemented first 50-year plan to control every American's choices, social status, income, and willingness to wage war to enrich them. 2. Around the world, 170,000 American military personnel occupy 150 countries. 3. Jeff Sessions advertises Guantanamo still open, no trial necessary. 4. Americans in harm's way for nearly 17 years in Afghanistan. 5. Donald Rumsfeld's knowns and unknowns. 6. Using 9-11 as excuse for unlawful activity, Bush Cheney order Alberto Gonzalez and Andrew Card to John Ashcroft's hospital room to intimidate then-Deputy Attorney General James Comey into secretly reauthorizing domestic surveillance. On August 11th and 12th, 2017, America's new domestic tribalism proved itself as dangerous as any international terrorism fueled by our warmongering ultra-moneyed. Any corrupted administration easily colludes with power, so have asylum-seeking parents forever lost families because Trump's America is trafficking brown children? Power is not made in the image of a president for whom a quick read of Proverbs 6 chapter would expose as the very nemesis of all things divine. 
However, refraining from judging others is all-powerful. For example, not all evangelical Christians are old, overweight Caucasians. Not all hypocritical conservatives deserting Ecclesiastes. Not all radical, love-it-or-leave-it zealots blind to separation in church and state. Not all NRA brainwashed with open carry. Not all single-issue voters. And because most evangelicals are Jesus Christians, not Trump Christians, not all evangelicals vote for a Trump GOP. America's superpower resides in our connectivity with and emulation of all-inclusive community. Many S words spell Donald Trump, but his debacle will slither to silence for both supporters and detractors if we don't sink into the savage peace. To the degree we resurrect, recommit, and renovate all men are created equal, our lives will prove honor and courage live in the gender and racial equality of twelve strong, separation of church and state, our free press, and our right of peaceably to assemble. Then, like Eleanor Roosevelt, Lincoln, Kennedy, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., Women's Marches, and Rachel Maddow, we will enlighten current and future Supreme Court justices, congressional members, and presidents by ballots cast of our joint obligation to preserve, protect, and defend the United States of America with justice for all. Now, let's heal our nation's self-inflicted wounds. Thank you, and join us. Become one of the reasonable voices heard round the world.